Hi, welcome to Shalini Footy. This is Shalini. Today I'm going to show you an easy curry recipe. For that, I'm heating my oil. Oil is hot now. I'm adding some cumin seeds, less than half a teaspoon. And then I'm adding some finely chopped onions, really fine chopped onions, and one or two green chili split. Saute the onions well. Onions are fried well. Now I'm adding some crushed ginger and garlic, about one tablespoon. You can also add ginger garlic paste. Fry it for a minute. Then I'm adding some mushrooms. Today I'm adding mushrooms like. If you have cauliflower, you can substitute it with cauliflower or potato or even shrimp curry. It works good. If you are making shrimp curry in the same recipe, you should not add shrimp at this time. After ginger garlic paste, you need to add some one paste. The masala, we are going to prepare that masala. Cook it and at the last few minutes, last five minutes, you need to add shrimp. Maybe I will show that recipe some other time. Now after this ginger garlic paste or crushed ginger garlic, I am going to add my mushroom. Before the mushroom, the ginger garlic flavor should go off because the mushrooms shed some water while sautéing. If it sheds that water, if it mixed with the raw ginger garlic, then the whole curry will smell that raw ginger garlic flavor. So you need to sort the ginger garlic really fine and then add mushrooms. If suppose you are adding chicken, you can add along with ginger garlic. That will flavor. That flavor will be good with chicken. But while adding some vegetables, we need to cook the ginger garlic thoroughly and then add the vegetables. Now it's almost done. Still, the flavor is there. I added my mushrooms. Mix it and cover it for 2 minutes. By that time we are going to make a masala for this curry. We are not going to add any powders. Just we are going to make our own masala. Keep it in medium flame. For masala here in the mixi jar I have one big size tomato. And then half a cup of coconut. Grated coconut. And 2 tablespoon of coriander seeds and 4 to 5 red chilies or according to your taste. And I have some whole garam spices like cinnamon, elachi, 2 elachi, 2 inches cinnamon and uh, uh, 4 cloves and then half a teaspoon of somf. And grind all together. And here in the mushroom, I added like little water to avoid burning. And um, then I added some salt and some uh, turmeric powder and I am cooking it. My masala is ready, I am adding it. Add some water and rinse this and add the water. I added the masala and added some water. You can add the water according to the consistency you want. This curry goes good with rice, roti, idli dosa or with every all the tiffins and the rice it goes really good. So according to your choice you can add the water and let it cook for 7 to 10 minutes. The curry is ready. You can garnish it with uh, coriander leaves. And thanks for watching. Subscribe to Shalini Futik.